here at UFC 298 Media Day in not Los Angeles, California, Anaheim, California, Orange County, I'm not sure. We're in California, Southern California, with Marab Dvalishvili, of course, fighting Henry Cejudo Saturday, 298. Biggest fight, do you think, of your career so far against the former champ? Of course, uh, every next fight is bigger, biggest fight in my career, and I, uh, this fight is biggest fight because uh, this fight will make number one contender fight. Do you, do you feel confident that if you do beat Cejudo, that that has to be your fight, right? The, the title fight. Absolutely, yes. Uh, I already feel comfortable. I think I already deserved, but uh, this is another challenge for me, and um, I'm ready for this challenge. And uh, yeah, I will show up February 17th. I imagine you'll be watching the Sean O'Malley versus Cheeto Vera fight very closely coming up uh, in a month. Yes. Uh, I did ask UFC tickets. I want to be there. If UFC don't have a tickets for me, I'm gonna buy tickets. I will be there. Yeah. You gonna wear his jacket? You still have it? Maybe. Yeah. I just <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Yeah. That wasn't actually his jacket, right? It was another one. Yes. Uh, somebody gave it to me. I'm gonna ask something. So. Then I yeah. told me to give yeah. him back, and of course, yeah, I, I, you you had know, to. I, yeah, of course. When, when my boss tell me, of course I did. I, I think uh, I think I, I saw a sign yesterday. I was eating lunch in yeah. Los Angeles. I live in Los Angeles, and I was eating lunch, and this place had. Kachapuri. Wow. They had Kachapuri at this place, and I was like, I, I thought of you. And then I saw there was something that, that got posted online with what your favorite food is, Kachapuri, yes, right? Yes, yes. Tell, uh, people, people don't know what this is. Can you explain? Th it's, it's like, it's a pretty amazing. It's like pizza, but maybe even better than pizza. Have you ever tried Kachapuri? I have, I have. Yeah, yeah. okay, good. So, yeah, Kachapuri is so delicious, a Georgian dish. Um, it looks like pizza. It's cheese inside. But how we cook is different and so delicious. Everybody who ever tested, everybody love it. And it's my favorite food, yeah. Not on fight week, though. No. Can't be eating nah, with gachapuri. No, 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 no. It's after the fight, after, only after the fight. Even, even I will make weight the day before fight, I'm not going to eat this. It's too good because you can't stop it, you know. <laughs> Maybe after you can go to L, because L.A. has some, okay, some you know, then, some places. And some, then I will go for sure. Right, because yeah. it's like a, a, a Georgian and also Armenian, right? It's also part of the Armenian cuisine, yeah. correct? Yeah, uh, also Armenians love our um, culture and food. So they are making also Georgian food. I'm actually getting a little hungry now, but let me ask you about Henry yes. Cejudo. So earlier, earlier this week, a video came out of, of him seemingly firing his longtime coach, Eric yeah. Albaris, and I know you saw Captain Eric here at the hotel yes. and you guys took some photos together. What do you make of this situation? It's pretty, a pretty strange thing to do at this stage in his career. Uh, Henry Sehudo is a professional man, and uh, uh, I don't see anything uh, crazy in this situation because uh, I think uh, what Henry said, he, he gave get rid of his close friends or close coaches. He wants maybe more strict more training hard, you know. He don't want uh, somebody, coach, like he t tell Henry, oh, you look good, you, you're perfect, you're gonna kill this guy. Maybe he wants the guys who will tell Henry, no, you're gonna do this, you're gonna push more hard. Maybe maybe Eric too nice to him, you know, now, you know, he's very, very, he's very mm -hmm. comfortable with him. And then, so I think what happened, but of course, the Eric will be always his team and always his friend and always coach, but, you know, this, the, like Henry mentioned, he, this, for this specific training camp, he just, I think he wasn't, because those embedded, they taped video like two months ago, mm -hmm. even for me, and then uh, we all see yesterday they met each other again and he gave his, uh, like, right, his, his, so, yeah, yeah, his gear. Yeah, his so, gear yep. yeah, I understand it's, uh, yeah, they cool, you know, you know, but it's whatever it takes for win, you know, some people left the family, some people left wife and kids, they go training camp for, uh, get ready, get hungry, get motivated. Maybe he feels to he he needs to get get rid of his close people for this camp only. Henry said earlier today that if he loses this fight on Saturday to you, he would retire. That would be it. How do you feel about that? Mm, yeah. So this way he he is more motivated because yeah he wants to beat me and he wants to fight for the title uh, uh, and. Uh, the, the, there is the facts. That if if I beat him, of course he will retire because this way he he has to. If he wants to keep fighting, he has to go back ranking and then climb the ladder again, and which takes time and it's every fight is risky again. And he, I don't, I'm sure he don't want more fight. I'm sure he don't want to just fights. He wants gold, and then the, if he beats me, then he has a chance. But if not, then he has to go back. 
So and it's realistic, I think. Mm -hmm. But the, he, I think the the all everything makes him more dangerous because uh, he wants to beat me so bad because he has so much motivation. Everything or nothing. I want to ask you a little bit about your online persona, right? You've, you've yeah. kind of been showing your personality more. You've been doing these videos. You did that like teacher video where you know, you're kind of showing the, the, the different things. Whose idea was this? How'd you come up with it? I feel like I might know who this was. I think it might have been an Oren Hodak idea, but uh, who was coming up with this type of stuff? No, it wasn't, wasn't Oren's idea or it wasn't uh, nobody's idea. It was my idea. That, okay. Yeah, that, like, so first when I teach Chinese, I do how to spell my last name, mm -hmm. to say my last name. So in the second was breakdown fights because those these things bother me. How like uh, O'Malley called the number six guy, and then if number six guy wins, that he wants to fight uh, another rematch, and, and then and I was thinking about this, and I'm like I have to make video, and then uh, <laughs> and then to like uh, to to tape this, the my camera guy helped me, and uh, to to perfect English, then my friends helped me to like to to say English correctly, you know, to not make mistake, you know, uh, I did. I started working one night after training, and I finished next night because you know, it, to, I make good quality. You know, it takes time. And other funny videos, you know, just um, yeah, just it was just funny, like you know, and even like the the the, the funny video with Eric. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I when I see Eric and I said you my coach now, I'm gonna <laughs> stole it from Henry. And uh, but you know, when I see the video, the uh, Henry. Uh, them reuniting, yeah, right? Yeah, so, yeah. You know, things like this, you know, just, yeah, I mean, I, if, if somebody will give me, give me the funny videos idea, I'll take it, no, but I will pay, no problem, but just, uh, yeah, most, it's, most of them, it was my idea, and then I work with my, my friends, and they, they help me change a little things, and like this. Well, your English is fantastic, so don't lose your confidence in your English, you're doing great. Thank and you. is it important, you think, to show that, that your personality, because this is the entertainment business at the end of the day, it's the fight yeah. business, but there's also an entertainment aspect of it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, and then, I, yeah, exactly. I like to post things, I like to uh, make positive things. I don't want to post every day how I'm training, how, how sweat I am or something, you know. I want to make positive and I want to... I grow my followers and I want to be interesting guy and uh, yeah, that's all about today. It's social media very important. Last question. Yeah. UFC 300 is coming up. There is no main event as of right now. If you could pick any possible main event, any fighter, active, retired, who would be your matchup? Who would be your fantasy, your booking for that main event? Uh, they asked me this question uh, before and I say John Jones and Stipo Miocic. That would be good. Uh, uh, that would be why that way. one um that's what's uh top of my hands that's what i'm thinking right now and uh, or otherwise uh, uh me versus uh bradley martin oh the the bodybuilder yeah, guy yeah, yeah, yeah who wants to who wants to like yeah, test challenge himself. every every yeah. fighter bro i would love to fight him i would pay to watch that at 300 yeah you and see, that's that's your main event right there you know i think that would be a good main event but now we I'm not this much popular yet. Maybe Bradley Martin, yes. He Maybe after Saturday you'll... Uh, Maybe, you'll, oh yeah, yeah it's good. It's, I'm good. Yeah. Maybe I should call him out. Because you should. O you should. Because O'Malley, did, he's running from 2018. He never <laughs> mentioned, never accepted fight with me, nothing. So maybe, okay, then maybe is that bigger fight. That's the one. Yeah, I think so. Marab, thank you so much, man. Good thank luck you, on Saturday. Thank you, I appreciate it. Appreciate thank it, buddy. Thank you.